50%, that is how much home prices have gone up since the pre-COVID era here in Temecula. 3%, that's how much mortgage rates have gone up in that same time period. Home prices and mortgage rates usually function as a balance. When one goes up, one usually goes down and vice versa. Home prices skyrocketed from late 2020 into early 2022. So when the rates started to go up in 2022, we would expect prices to start to come down, but they didn't. When rates and home prices are both high, this impacts affordability. Many people no longer qualify to purchase a home. In a more normal market, this is where we will see an increase in inventory, more homes available because fewer buyers are purchasing them. Applying the basic economics of supply and demand with less demand, we would start to see a decrease in prices. So why didn't this happen? Well, there are a couple answers to this question. The main culprit is inventory or lack thereof. We're seeing 20 year high mortgage rates right now. Just two years ago, we saw record low rates that many homeowners and new home buyers locked into. Talking rates as low as two, 3%. And to put it simply, they don't wanna give that up. Homeowners are staying put and that is impacting the amount of homes that are available. 50% down in fact, year over year here in Temecula. This has allowed for only a 4% decrease in median sales price in our area in the last year. So with both purchase price and mortgage rates being high and showing no signs of relenting in the coming weeks and months, where is the opportunity for buyers? Going into the end of the year, the buyers will have power in new construction, specifically in developments that have standing inventory. Many builders are trying to meet their quotas by the end of the year and they are going to discount their standing inventory. These incentives usually come in the form of a lower mortgage rate. Perhaps they'll include certain perks like solar. As an agent, I know I've been able to negotiate other terms on behalf of my buyers in these new construction developments on quick move-in homes. Everything from purchase price to including appliance packages. Buyers also have power in the resale market if they're willing to purchase homes that have been sitting for a while, that maybe need a little bit of work, a little TLC. I've had success having offers accepted with my clients, taking our terms to the negotiating table and getting discounts during this time of year, especially on properties that have been sitting for a while. Some of the terms include, of course, a lower purchase price, but also getting closing cost assistance to help buy down your interest rate. Whether you're considering new construction or the resale market, the first thing you're going to want to do is get pre-qualified with a lender. You can always contact me to speak with one of my lenders. It's really important that you get pre-qualified and get educated educated and informed about what you qualify for given your circumstances. So remember that there still are opportunities for buyers in this market. You just need to know where to look and know how to proceed. And of course, I'm here to help every step of the way. Here's my contact information. Reach out anytime, even if it's just a chat. Follow along for more market updates, buyer and seller tips, and all things real estate.